Congress, the Honorable Prime Minister of India launched Mission Amri Sarovar last year on 22nd of April. Sure, sure. Uh, that was a kind of, uh, you know, initial in Kashmir. It was an exercise personally guided and monitored by Sir, and we could understand in depth the path of carbon neutrality at village level for achieving the targets of Net Zero Carbon 50 commitments by developed countries and Net Zero Carbon by 60 and 70 by China sectors we understood at local level with the scientific studies based on credible data, data sets for future predictions of climate. This will help us. It is also necessary to chalk out the path for carbon neutral uh, economy. To achieve the carbon neutrality, the role of finance and investment from public and private sector becomes very important. Hence, one of the aims of today's workshop is to understand green financing instruments as they are operating in different parts of our country and their suitability. Sir, knows occupy nearly half of the geographical area of the Union territory and provide a wide range of ecological, social, economic uh, benefits to the society. Sir, JNK with the most diverse forest in the country, with the highest standing timber volume, and total carbon stocks per unit area. The forest and tree cover has been the priority of UT administration. Our programs guided by UT administration like Green Jammu and Kashmir Drive. One. Mr. Mohan Shrinivas, complete and smart cities in the country. Who are developing local biomass action plans? That's the right move forward. Thank you. Forest of Kashmir and Green Jammu and Kashmir Drive. Thanks, Catchment and Biology. Thank you. I'm happy also to inform that Forest Department has taken several initiatives on eco-tourism to acknowledge the heart of our industry and Dr. Munisa Bhante, uh, range officer for the last two publications. I'm familiar with many of them. <coughs> when it comes to Professor Ravindra Nath, it, it dates uh, two decades back. So, okay, actually, my first negotiating experience was a long period. Actually, that, that would surprise many of you that uh, when that's how the beginning goes. But, uh, Okay, I'll be very spontaneous because I don't think I needed to prepare for this. But uh, first thing, um, 2070 becoming net zero is possible and it will be done. I have absolutely no sense of any doubt that India will achieve that. 2070 is very difficult to imagine for most of us, but I think fossil fuel, time for fossil fuel as a prime source of energy is gone. And it's a matter of time when this will be replaced by other forms of energy. So I don't think that 2070 uh, what Honorable Prime Minister has committed is something that we will not achieve, we will definitely achieve. So earlier. that I am not we'll worried. Earlier. We will achieve earlier, much earlier. Coming to JNK, I'll come to some very, very specific point on what Professor Ravindna said. You need, we worked out a uh, panchayat neutral plan last year when Honorable Prime Minister was coming here. And uh, so we wanted to set an example, and we had this goal that we will draw similar plans for every every panchayat in every area, and then we will come to a district level plan, and then we will come to a UT level plan. Now, when you look at macro and the micro, the two are not necessarily you will get the same perspective because what we intend to draw, we don't draw at the level of not necessarily draw at the level of uh, let's say at the panchayat level. Uh, it's possible that all the panchayat energy is coming from solar and then you probably don't need to, if all that you're using in terms of solar pumps and uh, lighting and uh, transport and everything you can manage with solar energy. That's doable. And uh, if you were to do that, uh, then probably in terms of carbon emissions, you, you, are, you are very well placed. Maybe not zero, but you are very well placed. Now, there is another thing which uh, I think I uh, will touch upon those points. What is important for JNK and absolutely important is adaptation. And, and adaptation has to be communicated in a manner which is simple and which connects with people. And this is very fundamental. And I will give you an, uh, one example. We had started a program called 613600 forms. And that was adaptation, in, to my mind. And then Amri Sarovar was launched by Honorable Prime Minister last year. JNK was the first one to complete 75 Amri Sarovars in the country, in each district. We were the first. It's become a habit with JNK to be in, in the month of leaders. So we were the leaders. And uh, 
at the moment, we though we are only one percent of the population, we are third in the country uh, in terms of absolute number. But in terms of what we have committed, we are on the total number of uh, commitments, we are second. But in terms of completion of the objective, we are first. We did it well ahead of the timeline that was given to us. So that should encourage you, Professor Ayanala. At this point of time, we do what we say, and uh, we don't say what we do not intend to be doing. So that, that's a change that has happened. And uh, very fundamentally, Amrit Sarovar is a good example of how, how do you adapt. Bringing moisture in areas which didn't have that developed moisture, it leaves you in an entire area. Very simple, but very effective technique of adaptation. Har ghar haryali, har gaam haryali, one beat, one guard. All these are parts of parts of adaptation. When we say that bring we bring in a convergence plan at the uh, at the panchayat level every Monday, which meetings have started now, that's adaptation. Why do you need to adapt? 